Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel once again. This time we're here with the TVR Griffith. Now this is a brand new car added into the game, obviously, uh, yesterday with the season change. And uh, today I'm going to take a look and see what it's like. What can we actually do to this thing? What can we modify on it first of all? And what is it like to drive? Because obviously we're going to be able to do some, some engine swaps to this thing most likely. We'll see what sort of engine uh, this thing has as standard and how much power we can squeeze out of it. And uh, then after that, we're going to take a look at, uh, at obviously the engine swaps and all that sort of stuff to see what exactly we can do to that. Uh, visually, what do I think of this thing? I really like it. I think it's really, really good. It has active arrow, which is kind of cool. The interior is very nice and modern. I like that the hood opens up the other way. I really, really like that. As impractical as it is, I think it, it's really, really cool the way it opens up the uh, that way. Um, now, again, this isn't really a car that I would ever, like, I don't know. It's it's weird. It's a manual as well. That's actually kind of cool uh, that it's uh, that it's decided to be a manual. I like the blurriness and the um, the pixelation of the the camera at the back, or not the camera. Sorry, the the mirror at the rear view mirror. That's funny. Um, but yeah, I think interior wise, uh, I think this has like all the right all the right things to make it look really really cool. Fire extinguisher as usual, TVR classic styling, and safety I guess. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I like I like the way this thing looks overall. I'm not really sure about the front headlights design and shape. I feel like the Cigaris obviously has a much better design uh, than this because it just makes it look a little bit more aggressive compared to this. However, the overall shape of this thing, big thumbs up for me. I love the long the long hood, very short rear end, the F12 style, uh, the old TVR style pretty much. The old Cigaris had the exact same sort of shape as this thing. I love it. I love that shape. Perfect. I really, really like it. Um, again, the only thing I really don't like about this thing is just the front headlights. I, j I just don't think it looks as aggressive as it could be if um, if they'd make it a little bit, obviously, more aggressive. But rear end, I really like. I think it looks really good. So, now that we've taken a look at it there, I'm going to go ahead and mess around and see what we can do to this thing. Actually, first of all, we'll drive a stock. I'll drive it completely stock. We'll see what this thing is like. Why am I getting so... What? What's with all this music? I literally have my music turned out all the way. Radio volume. Why is it up again? My radio volume's up. Let's put that streamer mode on again. I swear I turned all this off. It sounds pretty good. I really like that interior. It's nice and modern. I like the way the display is actually very, very smooth. The display is actually really, really smooth. I hope it's like that in real life. I think that'd be really, really cool. If it was nice and modern like that, because some modern displays are still sort of lacking in uh, in quality, especially even when you accelerate and it goes up in speed and it, like it's so laggy that it skips like certain numbers. I like that this one goes up like one by one and and actually can stay up with the with the speed of this thing. I like this. Overall, I think the overall handling of this thing is actually quite good. Now, the one main car I really want to compare this thing to is my TVR. My TVR Cerber Speed 12 because that thing is unreal for everything. I ups I, I, I'm obsessed with that car. It's like one of my favorite cars in this game, if not my favorite car in this game. It's just the best overall car that I have. I can use it for anything I want and it, it does everything well. I can use it for speed traps, speed zones, off-road events, drifting anything anything i want to use it for it's really really good i mainly decided to build that car at the very start of the game and it was all just because it was obviously like a barn find and it's just overall a really really good car especially off-road rally car like a rally style events uh, like speed zones and speed traps off-road it's actually really really good so i think i'm gonna try see if i can get this uh, this griffith to compete with it um so I'm going to try to see how much power I can squeeze out of it, obviously, because that will be a big main thing, because obviously the Speed 12 has a V12 in it, um, and uh, it's uh, it should be kind of interesting. It should be kind of interesting to see how we can compare these two cars. I'm going to go to the festival, just because when I want to pull out, I want to pull out on actual a dry surface and not just pull out on dirt like I've been doing the entire time. All right, let's see what we can do to this thing. Visually, can we change anything? I'm not even going to go in. But I already know it's just going to be Forza parts, and it's just going to be disapp yep, disappointing Forza parts. I will add them on, though, because it still doesn't look terrible, but just just no. 
just it's a bit it's a no from me. I'm sorry. It's a no from me. I'm gonna go with race tires as usual. I'm gonna go as wide as possible. 265s in the front and 305s in the rear. Those are some fat tires on the back end. Not too bad looking. Um, as for our track width, it will increase our handling ever so slightly though. It's not, I don't think it'll be noticeable enough. I will bring the ones on the front out just a tiny, tiny bit. And the ones on the rear maybe as well just by one notch, but nothing too crazy there. Um, as for our engine swaps, we can have a 6.2 V8, pretty standard, 5.2 V10, Lamborghini slash Audi. Ooh, 7.7 .7 liter V12. I'm gonna give this a shot and guess that this is the Speed 12 engine. I'm, I'm gonna guess that. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know the capacity or, or the displacement of the engine of the Speed 12, so I'm gonna guess, since I've never seen this engine before in any other car that you can put it in. Since this is a TVR, I'm gonna guess this is a Cerber Speed 12 V12, and uh, I'm gonna put it on because I really want to see what it's like. Also, all-wheel drive, sure, we'll turn this into all-wheel drive. The only problem is, though, what I've realized is that this does not go... Uh, I can't I can't turbo this. I can't turbo this engine. So how much power can I squeeze out of this thing, then, without a turbo on it? 1,104 horsepower. Okay, interestingly enough, it's actually still really good. 1,104 is the... Is the V10 the one that we can squeeze out to 1,300 horsepower? Because if it can do that, then I guess it'll be better suited for this car. It'll have a little bit more power to, to be squeezed uh, out of the thing. But I don't really know if this is the one. 1,100? 1,212 horsepower. Okay, I think we might be going with the V10 here. I think the V10 is what's going to get stuck into this car. Okay, cool. Fair enough. I'm down. I'm down with that. Uh, we can have drift springs and dampers. Perfect. This is, I think, the one thing that I don't think you can have on the Speed 12, and that's the drift suspension. I'm now, the only reason why I want to put this on is I want to see if I can get this thing to be, like I said, very, very similar to the, uh, to the, uh, to the Speed 12. Uh, I think the Speed 12 does have rally suspension on as standard. I don't think that the Speed 12 can have drift suspension. If it can, then I'm being an idiot, and I can't remember, but... I want to keep the drift suspension on, uh, not because, man, this is actually pretty, pretty decent stats on this thing. I'm not gonna lie. That's really, really good stats on this car. That's really, really good stats on this. Car. I'm really, really impressed with the uh, with the whole overall uh, setup of this thing so far. Not bad at all. All right, so let's go ahead and just pretty much buy everything else that we need to buy here. Our top speed is at 8.9, our handling is at 9.4, acceleration is maxed out, launch is maxed out, braking maxed out. This might actually be a really, really good overall car. I may have to change this thing to race suspension though, because um, actually, it doesn't really make too much of a difference, because I can still just change the actual setup of the, the suspension, the uh, um, just the tuning. But I think having it on race suspension, ah, the top speed of this can actually keep going, 245, 257. 257.7. .7. I want to see how fast they can reach that speed, though, because obviously that's kind of important. Uh, now, like I said, I did put drift suspension on this thing. I don't really expect to be doing a lot of drifting with it. I do expect to get a little sideways with it for the moment, but um, nothing too crazy. So I'll reduce the camber ever so slightly there. Everything else I'm going to leave the way it is at the moment, and then we'll see what this thing drives like. I'm actually going to make it slightly more rear bias, so 80 to, uh, 80 to 20 split. Now, the one thing I didn't change, or I forgot to change, were the wheels. So I decided to go with these. These wet sports, I think, look brilliant. However, that little blue lip needs to get changed. And I think now, since we have the new customization options or the new design options available in the game that we can actually change some stuff on the wheels, I am going to go ahead and do that. So if I go back to design the paints, Go to paint car, and then I go over to my wheels. I can go to advanced and go to the outer lip. I can change that. That is not the outer lip. Really? Can I not change that blue bit, blue bit over there? Paint group one. No, that's the main wheel itself. Wow, that remains blue. That is stupid. Why? Okay, come on. Come on. I think that ruins it. I think that actually ruins it. There should be a little option to change that blue lip around the wheel. Okay, whatever. We'll stick to that. Don't really care that much about it, but yeah. Now. 
This is the Lamborghini slash Audi R8 V10. Pulls nice and hard. Actually grips really, really well as well. This car is no joke. Getting a little bit of understeer now when I accelerate. My god, this thing's a beast. I actually really like this. Oh god. We're off. It's got so much power though. Look at it. I'm trying to keep it low on the revs, I want to see. I tried to see what this thing can do to low on the revs. It's got torque for days. Oh my. This thing actually pulls really hard. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out on the uh, on the highway. I want to see what the top speed of this thing is. I'm gonna mess with my arrow as well, so I'll just make it so it's as slipstream as possible, or as slipstream less as possible. I don't know to reduce slipstream. Let's just put it that way, uh, or uh, to reduce draft. And uh, let's change that all the way to speed for the front and the rear, obviously. Uh, 266.6. Now, this does have a lot of power, so how fast can it actually reach 266.6? And is it the shape of the car that's preventing it from going faster, or is it my gear ratios? We'll have to see once we get there. It's climbing. It's still climbing. It's still going. It's not really my gear ratios. I feel like it's it's doing all right, but it stays at two sixty seven the entire time. That was good. This thing is a this thing's very impressive. I like this car. I like the grip of it. I like everything about this car. It's really really good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, raise this as high as possible, and I'm gonna go ahead and also put is that as high as it goes. I think that's as high as it goes. I'm also going to go ahead and soften everything just a bit because I want to see what this thing is like off-road. Because again, like I said, I want to compare this thing to the... Um, I want to compare this uh, this guy to the Speed 12 that I have, which is just an overall universally good build for everything. So I want to do that. Um, let's do this. Let's bring our acceleration deceleration all the way up at the moment. Keep it something like that. Um, so we can get this thing to slide a little bit as well. We'll get it to be a little bit more rear biased and uh, I think we'll leave it at that for now. And now what I want to do real quick is I want to change some stuff on it. I'm going to go back to a house. I'm going to put some off-road tires on it and then see what it's like off-road because I want this thing to be, like I said, as good as the Speed 12 as possible because I really like the Speed 12 and I want to see if this could be a good comparison to it. Now that that's done, Let's take it out to an off-road drift zone and let's see if this thing can be good enough for it to, to do any sort of off-road events uh, with its wheels. So I changed the wheels, like I said. It's got a bunch of grip off-road as well. It is lifted, so it, does, it shouldn't bottom out. It's got a lot of... It's got a lot of power. May, may, I may have to change my gear ratios a little bit because obviously for for stuff like that I don't really need to have high top speed. I just need this thing to be good at uh, at accelerating in corners. So 109 points is what I got before, which uh, as you guys know, all of this we're done in top 1000. But now I'm just here to see what this thing is like.
it actually feels really solid. I don't have any sort of like hesitation when I enter these corners. Like I know I'll be able to save it with the car. You know what this car will be good for? Literally exactly what the Speed 12 is good for. And that is Forza Thunder events. It can do anything and everything if you have a similar setup to this to it. It can take corners. Normally you can do like normal speed traps and speed zones with it and still be fine. Obviously it wouldn't be the fastest thing ever, but it'll still be fine. This is the perfect Forza Thon car. It really is. Like doing your your hourly Forza I smashed into a bridge. Cool, that's fun. Um the hourly like Forza Thon events, I feel like this is a very, very good car for that. If you want something like that, I think this would be perfect. Let's take it for a dive. See what it's like to swim. Oh. Now I think with some better tuning, this could be a very good, like specific type of car. So if I was to take this out for like drifting or, or something like that, this could possibly be quite a decent car. Uh, it could also be quite good at doing some off-road events and all this sort of stuff. It likes to go sideways. It's easy to just send sideways and save it because obviously the drift suspension is on it. I think it might still be good even if I just put like off-road or rally tires. Also, this thing lifted so good for off-road. It doesn't slow down at all, which is great. It's exactly what you want. Even on the road though, like on the road, it, like it stays composed and it's easy to throw around. I like this thing. I really, really like this guy. Good addition into the game. And especially with the comp uh, the combination of the, the mods and, and upgrades that I've done to this thing. It's a good overall universal type of build. I like it. Acceleration wise it's good. Top speed wise it's quite good as well. Again, it's just not really a lots of negatives to say about this car. I really like it. Well, that's it. Thank you guys very much for watching today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. The TVR Griffith here today. Uh, obviously this is uh, a brand new car that was added in and I uh, wanted to take a look at it. See what it's like. See if we can do anything. It's a little bouncy for the off. Oh god. It's a little bouncy. But still managed to land on the road into a slide and off we go again. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Well, yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys very much for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. We're very, very close to 100,000 subscribers. Um, I'm really, really thankful. Very, very happy that you guys have uh, have subscribed or just anybody that's watching this video right now. I'm happy that you guys are just watching overall. And hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. But yeah, that's it from me. Thank you guys very much for watching again. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Off to do a force event with this car.